Second Poem by Peter Orlovsky Morning again. Nothing has to be done. Maybe buy a piano or make fudge. At least clean the room up, for sure. Like my father, I've done flake the ashes and butts over the bedside on the floor. But first of all, wipe my glasses and drink the water to clean the smelly mouth. A knock on the door. A cat walks in. Behind her, the zoo's baby elephant demanding fresh pancakes. I can't stand these hallucinations anymore. Time for another cigarette, and then let the curtains rise. Then I notice the dirt makes a road to the garbage pan. No icebox, so a dried-up grapefruit. Is there any one saintly thing I can do to my room? Paint it pink, maybe, or install an elevator from the bed to the floor. Maybe take a bath on the bed. What's the use of living if I can't make paradise in my own roomland? For this drop of time upon my eyes, like the endurance of a red star on a cigarette, makes me feel life splits faster than scissors. I know if I could shave myself, the bugs around my face would disappear forever. The holes in my shoes are only temporary. I understand that. My rug is dirty, but whose that isn't? There comes a time in life when everybody must take a piss in the sink. Here, let me paint the window black for a minute. Throw a plate and break it out of naughtiness, or maybe just innocently accidentally drop it while walking around the table. Before the mirror, I look like a Sahara desert ghost. Or on the bed, I resemble a crying mummy hollering for air. Or on the table, I feel like Napoleon. But now, for the main task of the day, wash my underwear. Two months abused. What would the ants say about that? How can I wash my clothes? Why, I, I, I'd be a woman if I did that. No. I'd rather polish my sneakers than that. And as for the floor, it's more creative to paint it than clean it up. As for the dishes, I could do that, for I'm thinking of getting a job in a luncheonette. My life and my room are like two huge bugs following me around the globe. Thank God I have an innocent eye for nature. I was born to remember a song about love. On a hill, a butterfly makes a cup that I drink from, walking over a bridge of flowers. December 27th, 1957, Paris.